दोस्तों हम सब ये जानते हैं कि अगर हमारा दिल धड़कना बंद कर दे तो हमारी सांसें रुक जाएगी और ये ज़िंदगी जो है ज़िंदगी नहीं रहेगी बल्कि हम लोग मर जाएंगे उसी तरह सेंटेंसेस में वर्ब का रोल है यानी किसी भी सेंटेंस में अगर वर्ब ना हो तो वो सेंटेंस का आ, कोई मीनिंग प्रॉपर मीनिंग फॉर्म नहीं हो सकता है और इसीलिए वर्ब को हर्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस भी कहा जाता है आज इस वीडियो में मैं माजिद खान एन लाइट लर्नर्स के तहत आपसे वर्ब के बारे में बातचीत करूंगा। वर्ब क्योंकि बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ सेंटेंस है और ग्रामर में जो हम लोग इंग्लिश ग्रामर अगर सीखें तो इसके लिए हमें वर्ब का जानना बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी है इस वीडियो में आइए हम लोग वर्ब के बारे में सीखते हैं और अगर आप इस चैनल को पहली बार देख रहे हैं तो कृपया चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दें और साथ ही बेल आइकन को दबाना ना भूलें ताकि मेरे इस चैनल में जो भी लेटेस्ट वीडियोस हैं आपको नोटिफिकेशन तुरंत मिल जाए सो लेट्स बिगेन वट इज अ वर्ब अ वर्ब इज अ वर्ड दैट डिनोट्स एन एक्शन एन इवेंट और अ फैक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल रामू इज अ थीफ Now here the word is is actually a verb, and uh, I shall help you in trouble. Now the word help is a verb here. In any sentence, you see, you will have a verb for sure. It can be either a principal verb, it can be a helping verb, linking verb. There are various types of verb. If you want me to talk about various kinds of verb, you can definitely write down in the comment section so that I can make uh, videos into it. to help you better now there are uh, two chief kinds of verb that you need to know regular verb and irregular verb in almost all the grammar books that we read we get a huge list of verb which is uh, all about uh, verb regular and irregular verb now many of us often get confused with regular verb and irregular verb so here is a very easy trick to remember what is regular verb and irregular verb regular verb are those verb that ends with d or ed to form its past and past participle for example ask asked asked there is ed with it stay stayed stayed leave lived lived so these are uh, some of the verb that ends with d or ed at the end now wherever you add d or ed to the main verb to form its past and past participle form you can say that this is regular verb now let's talk about irregular verb irregular verb are those verb that do not add d or ed at the end to form its past or past participle form rather it changes the pronunciation it or it changes the uh, spelling or it may remain same spelling however we read it in different manner that means the pronunciation can be uh, different in all the three forms so for example come came come go went gone write wrote written do did done now these are some of the irregular verb that do not add d or ed rather it changes the spelling or it changes the pronunciation similarly uh, there are some other you know classification of irregular verb that is it would remain same in all the forms like let 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 cut 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 heat 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 so these are another uh, sets of irregular verb that do not add d or ed at the end rather it remains same spelling it does not even change the pronunciation again another sets of uh, irregular verb is as such that the spelling may remain same however it will pronounce differently like read 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 r e a d read it's read in the first form but it's read read in the second and third form of the verb So these are uh, some of the basic things that you should know about verb. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, do hit the like button and uh, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get more videos. Uh, for any suggestions or any com comments, you may write in my uh, comment section so that I will feel glad to answer to your comment section. Thanks for watching.